So I just got home from filming my video and on the way home, literally one minute from the entrance of my brother's apartment, I got into a car crash. Uh, I don't really know how to feel. I don't know how to process it. It's so wild that like, I was making a video about struggling and I was like, just so positive and so happy and even excited for what's to come next and then now my car is i think it's totaled i'm not sure what to say i just like i'm just in disbelief you know like i can't I'm about to go take my car to the mechanic. This is gonna be the first time that I've driven it since the car accident, so I'm kind of nervous. Also, I have to say goodbye to my car, so kind of sad too. I'm assuming since I can drive my car, it's not totaled. I'm actually hoping that it's not totaled. I would, of course, like a new vehicle, but with my living situation here, I have no way to transport my stuff or I, I just have no place to store it, um, so I just hopefully can get repaired and then I can think about selling it later on when I'm in a more stable situation. This door makes a pop when I open it. Doesn't sound good. Okay, so I turned the car on and it's running, so that's a good sign. Um, I'm kind of nervous to drive to the car place. It's only, it's less than 10 minutes away, but I don't know. I've just never driven with like a wrecked car before. So um, we will see how this goes, I guess. So I made it to the collision center safe and sound. I'm a little bit early, so I guess I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. I don't know why I wore a sweater. I was dressing as someone who experiences normal seasons. Um, in Tucson, it's still like 90 degrees even though it's the end of October. Speaking of Tucson, the drive wasn't bad except for the fact that Tucson's roads are like driving in a jungle safari. I don't know why the roads are so rough here. I hypothesize that it's because it gets really hot and the roads crack. I don't know, but I've never driven on roads this bad anywhere else in the country. So, and also my car was sounding weird when it was idling. I don't know if that's because like the metal is mushed up or whatever, um, but I made it here, so. That's a good sign, I think. Go check on the estimate. Okay, so Hi. Yes. Right now it's repairable, but I know once I get it apart, it's going to ring the bell probably. Okay. But what does ring the bell mean? It's probably going to go over the threshold where I have to involve USA and do an evaluation and everything on it. Okay. Uh, with the full of stuff, I can't do that now because uh -huh. I can't get pictures of the seeds, carpet, and all that. Take it, tear, you know, take the front end apart, find uh -huh. all the damage. Yeah. And at that point, it's probably going to go over threshold. Meaning it'll be totaled. Meaning, it, yeah, I, I, I can't say that word, but right. meaning non-repairable. Yeah. Gotcha. They have to review so, it. They have to make that decision themselves. Right okay. now, I'm, right now I'm okay. close. Yeah. I know once we get it apart, there's going to be more stuff that I'm going to have to replace or right. repair. Right. I don't know if you want to drive it home arrange to bring it back in and then once it's here it's probably not going to leave here. Are you moving here or just passing through kind of? Um, I was passing through but I am going to move here in okay. December. Not, so. not being nosy it's just. Oh like, no no yeah curious. yeah I am going to move here now. I okay. just okay. got off the phone with the apartment so. Are you in um, food service or anything like that? Because there's lots of jobs here in food service. I think I'll be doing anything. I'll get it in and I'll try to rush the process up. Okay. Because what will happen is once it's deemed non-repairable mm -hmm. 
USA Insight person will call you and say, here, you know, we're going to do the settlement on your car. Mm -hmm. Your car's worth this. We're going to pay you this much money. And they just take, so say if it's worth $8,000. Mm -hmm. Which I think is probably half of that. I'm at 50, I'm at 4,700 and something right now. Oh yeah, and the Kelly Blue Book close. was that. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, um, so the mechanic said that my car is most likely going to be totaled. Actually, he said he doesn't say that word, but he thinks it's going to go over the threshold for repairs. So on one hand, like that's good because I will just get money and I can buy a new vehicle, but it mostly makes a very complicated situation even more complicated. Since I live in my car, all of my belongings that I own are in that car. So now I'm not gonna have a car and I'm not gonna have anywhere to put that stuff. So that's kind of annoying. That's a big hiccup. It also means that I need to buy a new car like ASAP, which is also kind of scary. <laughs> and my car was not worth that much. Chevy Sonics, that old, are not worth a lot anyway, but mine is now really high mileage and has been in a wreck. So the Kelly Blue Book was like 4,500, if that. I, it's just bad timing, you know? Of course, I want a new vehicle. I've been manifesting a new vehicle, but I guess sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for because this is just horrible timing. So while I was in the waiting area at the collision center, I got a call from an apartment complex that I had applied to like two weeks ago at this point, I think. It was my last ditch attempt here. I was like, if I'm not getting this one, I'm just not getting one, like this is not meant to be. My mom and I were tired of doing all, like jumping through hoops and barrels, trying to get these apartments and then getting denied for them. So I got a call from the apartment complex saying that I got approved. What, hallelujah. So there is a silver lining of today at least. Um, the only thing is the apartment is not available until sometime in December. I don't know when. So I basically have to figure out what to do with myself for a month. And also I don't have a vehicle and also I have a lot of stuff here that I have no place to put. So right now I'm still staying in my brother's apartment. I am blessed because I was able to stay here, but there's no furniture at all. I've just been sleeping on my sleeping bag and going crazy. It's rough when there's nothing to do inside and then you also don't have a car so you can't go anywhere outside, but Anyway, there are still, you know, silver linings coming into my cloudy world. And so I think that there's still things to be excited about, I guess. I don't know. It's a little stressful, but I think, I hope and I pray that it's all going to work out. So RIP Chevy Better, really great car, had her since high school. And I'm blessed with all of the wonderful things that she let me see and all the places that she took me and all the cool stuff I experienced with that car but now i guess it's time for a new chapter to be continued part two welcome to my apartment tour over here you see i have this lovely accent chair it's totally not a broken um lawn chair that i found outside over here you see my really plush bed it's actually a foldable bed so it's um folded up right now but i unfold it whenever i sleep and over here is where i pretend that the tv is um yeah yesterday i was watching squid game in my head so that was fun 